good morning kids always help others in need we should always give a helping hand to others children especially the elders that we have in our family or in our neighborhood our friends our family your mother your father you should always give them a helping hand and that is the story all about today so the story is helping hands so let's read the story it was a spring time a perfect day to go flower picking milly was going to the park with her elder sister to pick some flowers be careful milly remember to pick only flowers that have fallen down do not pluck flowers her father called her out of course father i know that flowers have life too she replied cheerfully milly walked to the park enjoying the warm warmth of the sun she saw some pink and violet flowers fallen on the grass she excitedly she picked up them from the ground they smelled heavenly what a glorious morning it was after a while milly was little tired so she went to say, sat on a bench while her sister continued to pick the flowers suddenly she saw miss rai her sweet old neighbor miss rai looked tired so now this is a story about milly and milly went to the garden to pick up flowers the flowers which are fallen on the ground so she went with the sister to get those flowers she so the father said don't pluck the flowers phoolo ko todo mat jo flowers niche gire hue hain wo hi uthana hai and milly said oh wow it is so beautiful the flowers smell very like heavenly and it was a very glorious morning so while picking up the flowers she saw mrs rai now she was a very old lady who was milly's neighbor hello mrs rai said milly are you all right good morning dear yes i am fine mrs rai smiled at her how are you today i am picking some flower wild flowers said milly giving some flowers to mrs rai how lovely they are very pretty milly said mrs rai you can have some more mrs rai offered milly oh no dear i have my hands rather full of full of this morning she said pointing on the bag near her milly looked at the shopping bag worriedly so many things how will you take them back mrs rai asked milly anxiously the bag looked heavy so now milly offered some flowers to mrs rai she said no baby i already have so many flowers with me you keep it with you so milly saw the bags the handbags that mrs rai was carrying she said you have so many ha- heavy bags how are you going to go home i'll manage milly i was little i was little out of breath so i sat down and rest for some time she said mrs rai didn't look too well she also had too many shopping bags mrs rai she said gently let me call father to help you no don't bother i do this every day said mrs rai you look little blue milly added are you out of breath every day no replied mrs bai panting now i'll go and get father he will help he will ha- he will be happy to help don't worry mrs rai help is on the way said milly before turning to leave so now mrs rai is getting breathless so milly is getting worried that what happened why are you getting breathless let me go and get my father so that she can he can help you so mrs rai saying no no don't worry i'll manage so milly said no 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 let me go and call my father milly went to her sister who was still collecting flowers and both the girls went home quickly daddy said milly you must come and help mrs rai she isn't feeling well milly's father was worried what happened milly i met mrs rai at the park she doesn't look too well you must help her she said quickly let's go we must help her he said and they left for the park soon they reached mrs rai was still sitting on the bench so now milly and her sister went to call their father so father said let's go and help mrs rai mrs rai i think we should go to see we should go and see a doctor milly's father said yes i think i have to i really do not feel well she said in a weak voice so mrs rai is not feeling well now so she is saying yes we should go and see the doctor they all went to the doctor who looked worried at mrs rai 
She had a flu, he told everyone. I am so glad you brought her here. It was Millie, Mrs. Rye told him. She was worried about me and went was quite to went quick to get help. Millie blushed. blushed. I just want to want you to be fine, Mrs. Rye said Millie shyly. So the doctor said, "Yes, uh, Mrs. Rye had a flu, and it is good that you got her here." So Mrs. Rye said, "It is all because of Millie that I am sitting here with you, and you are get making me all right." So Mrs. Rye thanked the doctor and Millie. Now Millie says, "We can pick your shopping bags when we go out to do ours, Mrs. Rye." Millie's father told the old lady, "Thank you so much." When I am well again, I will make a scrumptious cake for all of you," said lovely lady. "I hope you get well soon," Millie said, hugging her. So now father is saying, Millie's father is saying, you don't need to go and carry your shopping bags. We'll do it for you when we go out and get our shopping done. So Mrs. Rye is saying, I will make a very tasty and scrumptious cake for you when I feel well again. So Millie hugged Mrs. Rye and said, "Thank you so much." See children, when we help each other, when we help our elders, they would always love us back, and they would always give a give a nice treat to us. It is the same way how your grandparents do for you, right? Whenever you do something for them, or whenever you do a good deed, they either give you a toffee or a chocolate, or sometimes even money, because they are so happy to see you do good things. So always try to help others, children. Always do good things and always be sweet little kids. Okay, read the story. I will see you in the next class. Bye bye. Take care.